what is going on guys and welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to be sharing with you the ways that you can apply to a modeling agency and we'll be going through an online application and i'll show you how to take the polaroids or digitals that you need to apply to a modeling agency for those of you who are new to the channel my name is Maticus and i am a male model signed to wilhelmina in london without further ado let's get straight onto the video so there are three ways that you can get into a modeling agency the first way is that you get scouted. This can either be online, so like Instagram or Facebook, or if you're Sean O'Pry on MySpace back in the day. This is probably the more common way of getting scouted because everything happens on Instagram nowadays and there's a lot of potential models that are on Instagram that have put out some really good photos and they normally get found through hashtags. So of course, if you want to get scouted on Instagram, you have got to have a public account. And if you already have an Instagram, do not create another account. The agents want to see your personality. They want to see you and like what you're about. So don't delete your Instagram account or don't create a new one if you want to start modeling account. That being said, if you specifically want to have a private personal account and a modeling account, that's also perfectly fine. Just acknowledge it will take time to build up your followers if you are starting from scratch. Make sure that your account is set to public because if your account is on private, then of course no agency is ever going to be able to scout you because they can't see your photos. That being said, you also want to do some TFPs or time for prints. So go and collaborate with professional photographers. You get some free photos taken as long as they get to use your photos for their portfolio and you get to use their photos for your portfolio and you can pop them on your Instagram. The photographer will quite often know some agents or at least have agents around their page and that's a way you can get discovered. Alternatively, you can put some tags it's like Scout Me Jador, Willy Scouts, which is quite funny for Wilhelmina, M1 New Faces for Models 1, The Lookout for IMG. Basically what you can do is you can post your TFP photos and then you can share it in your story. And when you share it in your story, you just put the hashtags there. Because I feel like if you hashtag your actual photos or you hashtag the comments, it just, it doesn't look so good. If you're gonna hashtag anything, you can put it in your story and your post should appear hopefully in an agent's feed. You can also get scouted in person. That's like an agent who catches you at the supermarket or out in London or a fashion show, London Fashion Week, or sometimes agents are around festivals. I wouldn't know because I've never been to a festival. The second way you can get in is through online applications. This is where you go onto an agency's website and then you basically fill in a few details and then you send off your photos, your digitals, your Polaroid photos. So you'll take like a frontal headshot, then you'll turn to the side and take a profile, and then you'll do the other side. That's you basically done. Natural lighting if possible during the day. Let's go through a modeling application. So let's use Storm as an example. Go to their website, apply. It's a lovely message which you should probably read, but I'm not going to. So of course, as I said, photos should be in their natural state. Don't submit selfie photos, so ladies and some guys do not send selfie photos. There's a reason why they want you to maintain a neutral facial expression without smiling or pouting. It's because they're a high fashion agency, editorial, so they don't want you to smile. If you apply to a commercial agency, that's slightly different. So first and last name, preferred contact method, email, phone, and the third option here should be by Raven but they haven't included that, so I can't select it, unfortunately. Date of birth, so for me it'd be 1996, but for most of you, you're probably 2000s and beyond. Instagram, put your Instagram in here. Give me a follow, connect with me. That is my Instagram. If you have any questions about modeling, please DM me, I'll do my best to answer. Of course, email and height. Put in your real height, don't lie about it, because they will measure you. Telephone, gender, TikTok. So here's the thing with Storm, right? What I've noticed, and I'm speaking from experience here because I did go in and meet them and they were lovely, but they're looking more for influencers. So everyone on their roster has a massive following in either Instagram or TikTok. So if you don't have a big following in Instagram, TikTok, between 10 and 100K or more, then your chances of getting in relatively low. Of course, you've got your headshot, mid length, full length, Tick, 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 and submit. Let me just quickly show you. I don't want to digress too much, but okay. So some pretty good looking guys on here. I don't know if you've seen like review bra, but that looks like him. Surprisingly enough. Lol. Okay, let's use, ah, look. It is the Blakely guy, as you know, or Ted Pullen. 
127k on Insta, 125k on TikTok. So there we go. This guy looks like Henry Cavill. I wonder if he's, yeah, 11k. So in general, they love the uh, influencers. Now, if we go to a smaller agency, and this is more of a commercial agency, it's slightly different. So if you see name, email, Instagram, fill in the details, headshot, side shot, full length. You can kind of smile in your headshot like this beautiful lady is here. Oh, go to show you some examples. Each modeling agency will have different requirements. If you look at models one, again, it's kind of like a bit of commercial and editorial. So this is what they are after. Upload up to three images, headshot, profile for length. So that is how you apply. That being said, even though there are online applications, I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you do a walk-in or try and get a meeting with the agency. If you're not sure whether the agency does meetings, you can actually give them a ring and ask them if you can come in to meet them. Sometimes they'll just say no because they actually don't have capacity. Prior to COVID, a lot more agencies used to do walk-ins, but now a lot of them have stopped doing walk-ins and a lot of them just do online applications now. The third and final way you can apply to a modeling agency is through walk-ins, which I've basically just touched upon. This is the best way, in my opinion, to meet an agency. I think you're gonna have the highest success rate. So what actually happens at a walk-in? You go in for a chat, you fill in some details, then they take some pictures of you, like some Polaroids, digitals, and they might also do like a casting video where they ask you to say your name, how tall you are, where you're from. They may also ask you to do a walk. If they are quite interested in you, then they might even take your measurements. If you've made it this far to the end of the video, then you're probably also wondering if there are any tips that I can give you. I have already made a video on this on my channel. I will leave a link in the description below, so feel free to go and check that out. But the key tip really here in this video, don't give up. If modeling is something that you want to do, just don't give up because you're gonna get so many rejections. A good example of this is Giselle Bunchen. She's a supermodel, gorgeous supermodel, and she got rejected from 42 different agencies before she got her first big break with Alexander McQueen. Anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you did, then obviously like it, share it, and consider subscribing to follow me on my journey. Until next time, guys. Peace. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found.